welcome. We're nearing, we were just talking a minute ago, we're nearing the end of the series. I think we've got a few more left, but I know it starts dissipating here in August as I start doing my staffing. And my shaft time becomes higher. <laughs> uh, last week we spent a great deal of time kind of talking about it, some special shots, mostly high shots, for some of the holes that play up uphill here at Humber Point. And if you recall, we talked about ball position. Where did we want it? Hit it higher? Middle to middle forward, correct? So I'm always going to keep the stick either between my feet or slightly more towards the front foot. When I do that, just in general, when I set up to the golf shot, my handle is no longer so far in forward. So the natural loft of the club is being allowed to happen, allowed to work, right? The more forward I put it, I might even get a little bit more loft throwing the ball even higher. As I throw it higher, it's not going to fly as far, so I might need to, let's say my pitching wedge is my 100 yard club, right? I might need to engage a 9 iron because I'm throwing it so much higher, I'm spinning it so much more. Okay? Today I want to focus a little bit more on the low trajectory shot, and we'll run out on the golf course and talk about a few spots where we might hit that, but the low shot is going to be more towards my rear foot. I'm never going right off the foot. I'm always keeping the ball in between my feet. As I set up now in that position, notice how the handle's already forward. I'm already de-lofting the club quite a bit. Okay, so I'm designed to drive it a little bit lower. So I've got a station set up here. We always talk about purposeful practice. Today I want to work on keeping it low. A perfect world I probably would have set up a station with two sticks and the arm straight across, but I created a little triangle here today. I've got my 50 degree wedge. You think I can keep it low enough to hit it through that gap? You can. You can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Ball position back, handle forward. Notice when it comes out, it comes out lower and, and running. It's going to trundle a little bit more. That should be good, I think. Thank you. Okay. I can hit that shot with any number of clubs. So I just went from my gap wedge to my five iron. Ball back. Handle forward weight. Anybody ever hit it in the trees? <laughs> Anybody ever play on a windy day? There's all kinds of opportunities where a low trajectory shot that's running might be beneficial. I think of a hole like number one, for example, at Hunter Point, there's really nothing in front of the green. Number seven, there's nothing in front of the green. I could hit something lower and let it run up onto the green as opposed to making this big swing and flying it high. But I need to know or have an idea how much you can So I discover that by practicing that shot out here a little bit. The station just makes me attentive to if I don't execute properly. So if I let the club head pass my hand, I know I don't want to do that, but let's say I did that. I saw it go up over top of this, right? I might even hit it from time to time. So I'm very focused on keeping my handle forward and not letting the club head pass so that I can drive the shot a little bit lower. Higher shot. Ball position forward, lower shot, ball position back. 